and that's what we're going to be looking at. Some plays of the different declarer plays at trick one. And we'll also look at the hand that was played a few months ago and see what happened on that one. So what we're looking at here is situations where the opponents make a lead and you need to try to make uh, your best advantage of it. So in all these hands, um, you are declarer. You've got the, here you've got the queen six five. They've led the four of spades and you've got the ace three two in dummy. And I hope you can see that that lead gives you a very good chance now to make two tricks in the suit. And what you have to do is play low from dummy. So um, what you're going to do is play low. And one of two things is going to happen. Um, either your right hand opponent is going to play the king, in which case that promotes your queen. Or if they don't play the king and play a lower card, you can win the trick with the queen and later on make the ace. By the way, all these hands are assuming we're playing in no trump, although very often the same thing applies whether you're playing in a suit or no trump. But you hope to make two tricks there and should generally play low from dummy and you'll make a trick with the queen as well as the ace there. Do fret me if you have any questions about that. Um, here's another one where this time you've got the queen in one hand uh, in dummy and the ace and ten in your own hand. And again, it's probably a good idea to play low from dummy. Um, and a couple of things could happen. You might find that the king gets played, in which case you're going to make two tricks, again with the ace and the queen. But let's suppose the jack gets played. I've got the first of the afternoon's poll questions for you, which is if it goes like this and the jack gets played by your opponent, what should you play? Should you play the ace or the five? I assume no one's going to play the ten. So think about that for a second. And then I'm going to launch a poll and ask you what do you think the declarer should play here, the ace or the five? Tony, would this be in a no trump contract? Yeah, let's assume it's no trump. Yeah. And the majority here have gone for the five, seventy-one percent, with twenty-nine percent saying you should play the ace. So most of you said the five. There, let's go back and. Um, most of you have got the answer wrong here. Um, if you play low here, if you play the five, you are probably only going to win one trick in this suit. Um, the layout could easily be something like this, that they've led their fourth highest. If you let the jack win the trick, they are going to continue with this suit. Suppose they now continue the suit. And now, whatever you play, you're only going to make one trick. If you play the 10, it will lose to the king, and you will only now make one trick with your ace. And if you play, if you play the ace, the, your opponents will play low, and you won't make a trick with your queen. So because you have the queen and the 10 left here, and the jack has gone, the right play here is to play the ace. You should beat the jack with your ace. And it's because you've got the queen and the ten, and the only other honour still outstanding is the king, you should make a second trick here. Okay? You'll force out the uh, king with your queen, and then you'll make the ten. So those of you who said the five, I'm afraid you were wrong. The right play here is the ace. And the general principle here, although there's, it's not a 100% guideline, is that when they play an honour, it's often a good idea to beat it with um, one of your honours. Any comments or questions on that? Do, the, do any of the 71% of you who said to play the five uh, want to discuss it? Do you, do you see why that's um, not the right play? Let's try another one. 
Um, here you've got the king in one hand and the queen in the other. And generally speaking, with honours in both hands, it's a good idea if they lead that suit to play second hand low. It's a bit like the rule for the defence of second hand low, although it doesn't really apply strictly to declarer, because as declarer you can decide what you want to do, seeing both hands. But one or two things can happen here if they lead the five and you play low. One possibility is that your right hand opponent has the ace and plays it, and now you're going to make two tricks. Or even if they don't play the ace, if they play another card like the jack, you can beat it with the queen. And now you may still make a second trick. So, in other words, if the layout is something like this, and they've led the five, you can win the queen. And now you're going to make a second trick with the king as long as you don't need this suit, as long as you don't need the king. So if they uh, gain the lead again and carry on in spades, because the ace is on your left, you can make a second trick here. So the lead has given you a chance to make two tricks here, provided you don't play uh, high from dummy. I don't know if you can see that if you were to make the mistake of playing the king at trick one, then you would win that trick, but that's probably your only trick, because now... Uh, your queen is trapped, or it would actually fall under the uh, ace, whoever leads that suit. So play low with, again, with honours in both hands. It's a good idea to play low there. Do in front of me if you have any questions on this. Here's another what, one. What happens if uh, um, the dummy had the ace also? Well, you mean you want to talk about the dummy having the ace, the king yeah. and... And you've got ace the and the jack, both. The dummy? Yeah. The dummy's got what? What? Ace, ace and a jack. All right. Well, I, I'm not going to try to make up a mythical holding here because they're all different. So maybe one of these other uh, slides will, will cover that topic. Let's look at this one here. Um, and again, let's assume they're playing in, you're playing in no trump. And they've led the four of spades, and you've got the ten two in dummy and the ace jack three in your hand. And your first question, and it's the second poll I'm going to launch in a moment, is what should you play from dummy, the ten or the two? So have a little think about it. And I'm going to launch the second poll question, what should you play from dummy? You'll see in a minute that it's almost 50-50. It's a bit like Brexit. It's uh, 52.48, and um, by a slight majority, you've gone for the two, but an almost equal number have gone for the ten. And I could have given you another choice, which is it doesn't matter, but it does matter. And um, by a tiny, my, tiny uh, majority here, most of you have given the right answer. With equal honours here, you've got the 10 in one hand and the jack in the other. It's a mistake to play the 10 here, because the jack will do as good, and you won't risk losing the 10 to an honour. So if you make the mistake of playing the 10 here, let's see what happens. Suppose they play the queen. You can beat that with the ace, but that's probably going to be your only trick because you've now just got the jack left, and that may well not make a trick, okay? The right card to play here is the two from dummy. And obviously what you're hoping is to make two tricks here. You can't make three tricks, but you're hoping to make two tricks, and you should start off by playing the two from dummy. That's the first play. Now, if your opponent doesn't play the king or the queen, you, of course, are going to win that trick with your jack, and that will be your two tricks. If they play the queen or the king here, the second, uh, sorry, the third poll question for you is what should you play? So I've got a poll coming up to ask you what are you going to play when if the queen gets played here, are you going to play the ace 
the jack or the three. So have a little think about it, and I'm going to launch that third poll in a moment. And 53% have gone for the ace, 38% have gone for the three, and 9%, surprisingly, um, went for the jack. Um, now, playing the jack there, let's go back to the sideshow, playing the jack there after they played the queen, I would classify as a misclick, because there doesn't seem any merit in throwing away your jack under the queen. Um, and the majority of you who said to play the ace here are right. If you play low here, let's just see what happens. The queen will win. Um, and now you're probably only going to make one trick. OK, so if you if you let the queen win that trick, they will lead that suit back. You can play whatever you like. If you play low, the opponents will probably take the king and you'll just make the ace. And if you play the ace, that will be your only trick because the king will still be out there. So the right thing to do is to play low from dummy, play the two here, and then you must beat whatever your opponent plays. If they play the queen or the king, you must beat it with your ace because you've now got the jack and the ten left. And the only other on outstanding is the king, so you will make a second trick but not if you play low here, all right? So well done those 57% um, who said to play the ace in this situation. Anyone like to uh, have any comments on that one? I find these polls incredibly revealing because a very large proportion of you are not getting the answers right on these and it's not really a matter of judgment. There is a right way and a wrong way to play these. OK, and, and the key on this hand is that you've got equivalent honours in both hands, the jack and the ten. And it's generally right in that situation to play second hand low here. Don't waste your ten because you've got the jack as well. Now, Tony, yep. does, the, does the rule of 11 make any difference here? Uh, not really, no. I mean, you can assume when they lead the four, especially if it's no trump, that it's their best suit, uh, their fourth highest. Um, but I don't think the rule of 11 will necessarily help you. You can guarantee two tricks on this layout as long as you play it as I've just described. Thank you. OK. Um, let's try another one. Let's again assume we're in no trump. And they've led the four of spades here. Um, dummy's got the five, two, and you've got the king, ten, nine. The queen gets played by your right-hand opponent. And I hope you can see that although you might be thinking about ducking this one, you really need to take this. Um, the problem is if you play low, so if you let the queen win that trick, they will lead the suit again, and then your king gets Trapped. If the layout is something like this, the queen will win, they lead the suit, and now the ten loses to the jack. Uh, making a lot of background noise. Mute you all again. If you do, if you do unmute yourselves, please um, uh, make sure you don't have any background noise. Um, so the queen, uh, if the queen wins the trick, uh, you're now in trouble, and you may not make any tricks now uh, because your king gets trapped. So here you've got to think about it. The only way to make a trick now is to play your king here. Any comments on that? Let me know. And um, let's look at this one. This is the, the final uh, soup combination I wanted to look at today, where you've got the Jack nine five in dummy, let's say, and the ace seven in your own hand. And let's assume that this is a no trump contract. So we can assume that three of spades is their uh, fourth highest from their longest and best suit. Um, it's unlikely if, if it were a suit contract, you might have to think about whether it might be a singleton, for example. 
but here it's their fourth highest. And let's suppose you decide to play low from dummy, play the five, and the king uh, is played. Um, the last poll question for you here is what should declare a play, the ace or the seven? Does anyone have any questions about that? I've not, I will launch the poll in a moment with you. And 79% of you have said to play the ace, and 21% have said to play the seven. Um, so let's have a look at that. Normally, in a situation like this, you might be thinking about um, holding up or ducking, as it's known. Um, and the problem with this hand is you can only duck once if you do. But the other thing to think about is based on that lead and the fact that they played the king, it's now very likely that your left-hand opponent has got the queen. And if they do have the queen, you will make another trick with your jack. In other words, it becomes a second stopper, but only if you play your ace. If you play your ace here, the layout could well be something like this. The king loses to the ace, and as long as the queen is on your left, they cannot now play this suit again without giving you another trick. So you should assume that the king, uh, so the queen is likely to be on your left, that they've led their fourth highest from a suit with at least one honor in it, and you can now stop them running the suit and probably make two tricks here if you take your um, if you take your ace. If you were to make the mistake of letting them win that, win the king, well, what's going to happen then is they'll carry on in the suit, knock out your ace, and now you're left with the singleton jack of spades and dummy, and you won't make a trick with it. And in fact, this was the holding on uh, the hand I wanted to uh, look at today, the one I sent out in my email, and it was um, it was a hand played uh, last year in August, and this was it. This was uh, board one, and you can see that everyone in this uh, contract played it in three no trump, but everyone went down except for one person who uh, who made plus one. You can see um, everyone led a heart, and the key to this play is what do you play at trick one. So you can see that everyone got defeated except for one person. And I want to look at how this was played, um, either to make it or, or to, to go down. So this is the same hand. I've just rotated it to make South the declarer here. And as I said, everyone against three no Trump led a heart. And you need to start off in no Trump always by counting your top tricks. So I reckon we've got two spades, one heart, and we've got four clubs off the top. One, two, three, four. So we start with seven club, seven top tricks. And of course, we're going to try and make more in diamonds. But the danger is when we play the diamonds that they'll get in with the ace and that we'll be wide open in hearts. So what we need to do here is play low from dummy, or you could play the nine. Um, it works out well here to play the nine, but I think nearly everyone played low here. And East plays the king, and this is your moment of decision. This is the situation where, as most of you chose in the poll just now, it's right to play the, um, the ace. In fact, if I click on the GIB button, you can see that if you play your ace, you can make two over tricks, whereas if you play low, which we'll see in a minute what happens if you play low, you'll be defeated by uh, one trick. But the right thing to do is to play your ace here, and you're doing that because you've got the jack in dummy. The lead makes it very, very likely that West here has got the queen, and if they do have the queen of hearts, they cannot uh, play that suit without giving you an extra trick and an extra uh, stopper. So the right play here is to play your 
ace of hearts. Now, at some point, you're going to play your diamonds. You might start off by catching your clubs, if you uh, like. It's not too important to do that, but I suppose you catch your clubs. Interestingly, on this last club that you're playing, if you decide to play this way, you have to be careful not to play a heart from dummy, of course. But if I, again, if I click on GIB button, you can say playing a heart would be fatal because now you've uh, stopped your jack being protected. So you need to uh, play something else. OK. And at some point, you're going to play your diamonds. The opponents are going to get in at some point. If they don't get in right away, you'll just keep plugging away, take out their ace of diamonds. And if you bring up all four hands now, you can see that West has got in. Um, and although they'd like to play hearts, if they do play hearts, you're getting another stopper there. It wouldn't matter whether East had the ace of diamonds here or, or West had had it. If they'd won the ace of diamonds and played a heart, again, your jack is protected. So um, the best they can do is to take that queen and but you'll then get back in and you'll be able to take your diamonds uh, and your heart and your spade. Uh, your final heart at the end is a, is a good as well. So you can make 11 tricks played that way. The way that most people played this um, went down and let's just see how that goes. Uh, most people played it like this. They duck that first heart. Then when a heart is played back, they have to win it. They can try taking their clubs again, like before. But at some point, they're going to uh, play their diamonds. The opponents get in. And you can see that West now, as long as they've kept their hearts, can defeat the contract, taking the queen and two more hearts. So that's how it generally went, and most declarers went down on that one. And really, you need to think at trick one, is it right to, to beat king with the ace? And here it is, because you've got the jack. Tony, the Tony, is the principle that once you've taken the ace, you go to another suit, so you don't follow that suit, you leave it to the opponent? Yeah, that's right. Of course, you're, yeah. you, you're, you're going... You hope to make one heart at some point, but your source of you go to your source of tricks, your diamonds, yeah. and let them uh, uh, play hearts if they want to. But uh, you've still got a, a stopper there. Any comments on that? So just wanted to just sort of uh, uh, summarize that. Sorry. Uh, where am I? Yeah, I just wanted to. Oh, I do want to go up there. I just wanted to summarize the, uh, let's go back to the, yeah, I just had the summary there. Um, so summary really is if you have honors in both hands, it's often right for the declarer to play second hand low. And it's often right for declarer to cover an honor with an honor. Now, these rules are sort of ones you might be familiar with. They normally are used when you're a defender. But they often apply as declarer, although, you know, if you have a choice, you, you need to think about it as declarer, whether, whether this is always right, because you can see both hands. And so it's often easier for you to work out what the right play is. But the, those are good guidelines very often for declarer as well as for uh, the defense. Of course, there are other situations where it is right to hold up your ace. We, we know that. We know that, uh, you know, with... Uh, if you've only got one stopper in a suit, if you didn't have the jack and you could hold up twice, you would duck twice using the rule of uh, seven there. But in these other situations, these are where you've got honours in both hands. It's often right to follow those guidelines. Anyone have any comments or questions about that? If you got those um, whole questions uh, wrong, do have a look at the video again. I'm going to post it on the YouTube, and uh, you'll have a chance to, uh, to replay this.